for this project. Here I have a plastic jack-o'-lantern that we used last year for trick-or-treating. And I will also be using some Mod Podge as well as this fabric that I picked up from Walmart. I think I only paid a dollar, maybe a dollar something for it. And I really like the black and white pattern. I think this is called gingham. I'm not sure what it's called. Please let me know down below in the comments if you know what this pattern is called. But I really liked it. I really want to use sunflowers for this project, but I was not able to find any. So I'll be using something a little bit different. The uh, fabric is not really big enough to go all the way around the pumpkin if I try to wrap it around the pumpkin it's just not going to work because it's not big enough so I'm going to I'm gonna fold it in half and cut it and create two rectangular pieces because this way is easier to cover the entire circumference of the pumpkin if that makes any sense I don't really know if I explained it correctly but just watch <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply the Mod Podge to my purple plastic pumpkin. And I already cleaned it. I didn't think you needed to see that. So after I apply the Mod Podge, I'm going to add my fabric. And I'm going to smooth it out with my hands to eliminate any wrinkles or bubbles. And I, I want to try to match up the stripes that are going on in the fabric but this is a round surface, so that might not be uh, easy to do, but I'm going to do my best. The fabric at the bottom of the pumpkin looks a little bit messy and um, it just doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to use a piece of foam that I have in my stash and I'm going to cut a piece into a circle and then I'm going to glue that to the bottom of my pumpkin so that it has a cleaner look at the bottom and you don't see that messiness of the fabric. Next I'm going to pull the excess fabric over the top, over the lip of the pumpkin and hot glue it down into the inside of the pumpkin so that you don't see uh, the fabric. And I like how it turned out. I tried to match the lines as best as I could, but you know, it is a round surface, so it's not gonna come out perfect. But I'm happy with the results so far. And the next step is to add my flowers. All right guys, so the Mod Podge dried on the pumpkin and it's ready for flowers. Now I went to my local dollar store to get some sunflowers, which is what I wanted to use for this project, but they did not have any at this time. But I did find these. These are, I believe, daisies maybe. Um, and I found them in white and yellow and I think it's a very pretty combination for the fall season. And those are the ones I'm going to use. I ran out of floral foam, so instead I'm going to use this packing foam that I saved. And I'm just gonna cut a piece off. It's a little bit messy, but it does the job. It sticks to everything. <laughs> and I'm just going to hot glue it to the bottom so it stays in place while I put my flowers in. And now I'm going to insert my flowers. With a big container like this, I like to add my flowers close to the edge so that you don't see the inside. And it looks a little bit fuller that way. All right, guys, here is my planter. It is finished and complete. I really like it. 
I think the flowers in the pattern complement each other pretty well. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I would love to know. For this project, I'm going to use this small tray that I got from the dollar store. I was going to use it for a different project, that's why it's already brown. But I'm going to use it for this project instead. But I do want it to be a little bit lighter because I think it's a little too dark. So I'm going to paint it a lighter color. I'm going to paint the inside of my tray a different color. I'm going to use this beautiful brown color. It's more like a brownish reddish color, like a terracotta. So I'm going to use this color on the inside of my tray. Next, I'm going to add the words Hello Fall to my tray and I use my Cricut for this, but if you don't have a Cricut, you can always use uh, sticky letters from the dollar store or you can write them yourself. I didn't do that because my penmanship is not that great, so uh, this works better for me. Next, I'm going to add a few seasonal florals. These I got from the Dollar Tree, and then my tray is done. Alright, for this next project, I'm going to be using these foam beads. I don't have any more wooden beads, so I'm going to use these instead. They do uh, have the same size and the same look as a wooden bead, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to put them in a skewer so that it's easier for me to paint them. And I'll be using all these beautiful fall colors. And you want to wiggle the foam ball onto the skewer so that you don't pop any of the foam out. See as it happened here, I got some of the foam pieces that popped out of the foam ball. But if you just wiggle it and gently push it down, just wiggle the stick. It goes in a lot easier and it doesn't pop any of the foam out. Now I'm going to push the pointy end of the skewer into the box so that it holds it in place while I paint them. I'm 
I'm trying to cover every single spot on these beads because it's really frustrating when you are done with a project, everything is dry, and then you realize that you missed a spot. It is the worst. It's so frustrating. And I don't know if this has happened to any of you, but please let me know down in the comments. How do you feel? Next, I'm using a thin macrame thread and a needle to thread my garland. I'm going to make a small tassel for the end of my garland and I'm using some raffia here. I just folded it as many times as I could and now I'm just going to tie a knot at the top with another piece of raffia. And then I'm just going to cut the ends of it. And to the other end of the bead garland, I'm going to add this little flower. Okay guys, here is the tray and the garland for this Falling Into Fall DIY challenge. I hope you like them. For this fall DIY, I will be using this Dollar Tree sign. It's a Halloween sign, but I'm not gonna use it as such. I'm going to use it as a stand instead. And I'm also going to use these wooden pieces that I thrifted. And each piece is going to represent something fall related. <laughs> I'm thinking of turning them into different characters. I'm going to paint them all in different things that represent fall, if that makes sense. And I'll also be using some paint as well as my hot glue gun. So I'm starting off with this cylinder. I'm painting it red because this is going to be an apple. I loved going apple picking with my students during apple picking season. So this is the first thing that I thought of making when I thought of fall and autumn season. So I'm turning this into an apple. This next one I'm painting orange and yep, you guessed it, it's going to be a pumpkin. And like apple picking, I also loved going pumpkin picking and going on the hay rides with my students. They love that. So this brings back a lot of great memories.
Next I'm painting the pyramid in the candy corn colors, this orange, yellow, and white pattern that it has. Um, I've never actually met anyone who likes candy corn. I don't remember what candy corn tastes like. I don't think I've ever tasted candy corn, but I hear that is not very good. <laughs> so if you like candy corn, please comment below. All right, so this cylinder I am painting brown because this is going to be my first attempt at making a scarecrow. I've never made one before, so I'm going to do my best, and my daughter's going to help me out with this one. So this next one is a cone, and my daughter is painting it white because she wanted it to be a ghost. She also painted the Dollar Tree sign, which is now the base for all of my little fall characters. My oldest daughter is also joining in the fun. She is painting the cube and it is going to be a stack of books to represent the start of school in the fall. Well, this is the cutest little face that my daughter painted on the scarecrow. She did a pretty good job on. And now it's my turn to add the hat as well as some straw to really pull off the look. Next, I'm going to add some details to my stack of books to really make them look like books. Okay, so I lightened up the color of the stand because I thought it was a little too dark. And the next thing I did was use my Cricut to make the word autumn. And then I glued it onto the front of my sign. Next, I'm going to add these little uh, embellishments to each side of the word autumn. Uh, just to give it a little bit more detail and more substance. All I did was cut a few leaves from Dollar Tree greenery that I had in my stash and I'm just gonna glue it to the side. Now the last thing I'm going to do is add the little characters that we created to my stand using some hot glue.
My oldest daughter added a stem and a leaf to the apple and my youngest daughter added a cute little face to the ghost. And there's the scarecrow and the pumpkin as well. My daughter also added a stem and a little tendril to the pumpkin. And there's my stack of books. And finally, the candy corn. Alright guys, here's how my autumn sign turned out for this fall DIY. I think it looks so cute. Please let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Which one of these cute little characters is your favorite? I would love to know. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And please remember to subscribe because it really does help out my channel. So for this fall Pinterest inspired wreath, I will need a wreath form. This one I got from Goodwill for a dollar and it's natural made of vines I believe and I will also be using some construction paper and my hot glue gun oops it's stuck my hot glue gun some scissors and a pen this is all I'm going to need guys so let's get to it so the first thing I'm going to do is use my construction paper to cut my leaf forms. They're just going to be straightforward leaves just like the ones in my inspiration from Pinterest. So I'm going to draw the shape and cut them out. So I'm just going to draw a simple leaf form. Nothing too complicated. Just oval, oval shapes. like that I think those are maybe a little too big maybe this is better all right so I think this I'm gonna go with this one and then I'm just gonna cut them out fold the paper so I don't have to make too many cuts I wanted to use felt for this, but I couldn't find any felt anywhere, not in the colors that I needed anyway. So I decided to just get construction paper and hopefully it'll work out. And I will be cutting leaves for a while, so I'm gonna spare you that and come back with all of my leaves already cut. All right guys, so my fall leaves are all cut out and I am ready to glue them to my wreath with my hot glue gun. And I'm gonna take a look at my inspiration photo one more time so that I can see what it looks like. And I'm going to sort of fold them so they have the shape of the leaf. And I'm gonna pinch them at the bottom here to sort of make it look more like a leaf. And then I'm going to attach them to my wreath form. Now I'm going to confess, I really did not want to make this wreath. I had something else planned for this challenge, but unfortunately I've gone back to work and I don't have a lot of time to make videos anymore. So I can only make them uh, when I come home from work if I have time to do that. And I'm actually doing this the night before this video is due. So I'm trying to work as fast as I can. And this is what I came up with. So please don't judge me. Okay, so all I'm doing here is just adding some glue to the wreath form and then tucking in a leaf underneath the previous leaf that was already there 
and I'm just sort of uh, staggering them one behind the other if you can see that let me do it again one more time for you so just add some hot glue to the wreath form and then tuck in your leaf right under like this and I'm also alternating my colors so that I don't have two of the same colors right next to each other. So I'm doing a red, then an orange, then a green, then a yellow. So I'm just alternating. All right guys, so here is my finished fall wreath inspired by Pinterest. I think it looks cute. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And I think anyone can do this. After all, all I used was construction paper. So let me know what you guys think. I did have a lot of fun even though I was tired when I came home from work, but I got it done. And that is it for tonight, guys. I will see you next time. Let's keep being thrifty together.